Hello, Bay Ridge. Welcome to another edition of After Hours. This is actually the last After Hours uh, for the next couple of months. We're going to be taking a, a break during the summer. Uh, I'm going to be off on sabbatical, as uh, most of you should already know. Uh, next Sunday, May 15th, will be the last Sunday I'll be here for 12 weeks. Linda and I will be going on a sabbatical. Uh, after the meeting then. And so this is going to be the last after hours until I return. We had kind of debated about what to do. But what I wanted to take the time to talk through is what's ahead for BRCC this summer. What's Bay Ridge going to be doing over the summer? And the key idea is that it's going to be a summer of prayer. Um, there's several things that are going to build into this. And I hope it's exciting for you. It's very, very important. The Lord is calling us to be a people of prayer, the church to be a house of prayer. And we're really going to be digging into that this summer. So there's several parts of that. First, we have a great group of guys that are going to be teaching. There's six guys that are going to be teaching. They're going to be doing two Psalms apiece. And we're calling this series Poems, Prayers, and Promises. Because obviously the, the book of Psalms are uh, all poems. Uh, they contain promises, but they're all ultimately prayers. So as we're looking at poems, prayers, and promises, it's going to be a great way to understand the Psalms, but to help us build these things into our lives. Because the Psalms cover every type of prayer imaginable in the Scripture. You're going to be getting a good overview of all of that. Six men, uh, again, uh, Bobby and Tony and Scott, three of the other elders, uh, Simeon, uh, Bell and David Bayshore, the two interns that are here are going to be teaching. And then Philip Moore, who used to be part of our congregation, is working on his PhD in New Testament studies right now. He's going to be down preaching. So they'll be going through the book of Psalms, just looking at a variety of Psalms in this series to teach us regarding prayer. Another thing is, while I'm not going to be doing After Hours, I have already written a whole series of blog posts, and all of them are going to be about prayer. Each week, there's a, a blog that is out there. If you weren't aware of that, it comes out every Wednesday. And uh, I've been writing through kind of how we got our Bible and looking at the process of inspiration and, and how we knew which books belonged in the Bible and all that. But I'm going to be taking a break from that, and we're going to be covering prayer. And so there's a, a whole series of posts that are going to be out there. Each week, I'm giving a great quote on prayer from individuals like Martin Luther and E.M. Bounds, who wrote a great book on prayer, uh, Charles Spurgeon, just different folks, uh, Jonathan Edwards, that have quotes on prayer and then kind of talking about it. Uh, so the whole summer is focusing on prayer. And so along with the teachings, you can read the blog post to focus on different aspects of prayer and to let the Lord be working that into uh, your own heart and life. I hope you'll find them helpful. They're actually kind of adapted versions of every week I write a, a, uh, an email out to local pastors about prayer. And this is the ones that I've been writing over the last several months to the various pastors. And actually a number of them have written back and commented about it, that it was helpful to them. So I hope it'll be helpful to you in your own prayer life. Then we're also going to be doing a couple of evenings in prayer and praise. We're going to have one in June, July, and then one in August I'll actually be back for because I'll be continuing to teach for a couple of weeks on the Poems, Prayers, and Promises series when I get back uh, looking at Psalms. And we're going to have these evenings of prayer and praise where we get together, we spend time in worship uh, singing to our God, which is actually just singing our prayers uh, to the Lord and, and His promises uh, to us but then also spending significant time in prayer with one another. So I want to encourage you, when we announce what those are, make it a priority. Take time to come out on the evenings that we're doing prayer together. They're always a great time of encouragement. Uh, and it's a thing that I, I hope, you know, the Lord may even be uh, having us do more of in the future. So uh, take the time to come out for those. And so you can do all these things. And I just want to encourage you, the, the ways for you to dive in this summer, to kind of recap and summarize how you can learn and grow in prayer this summer. Listen very carefully to the teachings, okay? Always we should be doing that. But in the applying the word, there's always going to be an application every week, which is whatever you've learned from the psalm that week, go home and apply it to your own life. It might be about praise. It might be about lament. It might be about times of despair or clinging to God's promises, whatever it is, 
take it home and build it into your own prayer life that week. Secondly, I encourage you when we gather with the people of God each Sunday, join in the prayers. Our meeting, meetings feature a lot of prayer. We have prayer before we start, the whole time of singing in his prayer. We conclude with the time of prayer. We pray for missionaries. We pray for God to speak to us. We pray as we come to the Lord's table. All the way through, we are praying, and I encourage you to be part of that. Don't just listen. Don't dig around to find something or be surfing on your phone. Take the time to really join in and pray with the church. Join in on the evenings of prayer and praise. I also encourage you, if you have not joined Maryland Praise, we're on the second of each month, we take shifts so that we're covering uh, in 24-7 prayer. And I think we actually have like two or three shifts that we need somebody to sign up and cover right now. If you've not joined in, please join in with that. It is so imperative. Our state needs prayer. It is so important that we are covering it in prayer. So I urge you to please join in and do that. And then just be building prayer into your own life. Ask the Lord this summer, how can I be more consistent and more faithful in prayer? Brothers and sisters, we may come to the end of our life and have regrets about a lot of things that I spent too much time doing this or too much time doing that. I can assure you, you will not come to the end of your life and think I spent too much time communing with God in prayer. I spent too much time praying for my family, for uh, our nation, praying for our church. You will not do that. So let's take this summer to really grow in prayer. And I will be back and we'll jump back into after hours again, starting in August once I've returned. Uh, in the meantime, you can look up some old ones. We may drop a couple of them out there, but jump on the blog and read it each week. And let's grow in prayer together over this summer. I hope everybody has a great week. I look forward to gathering together again this Sunday, uh, May 15th, which will be the last one for Linda and I until uh, late August. So look forward uh, to gathering together for worship then. God bless. Mm -hmm.